Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. I wanted to know how to remove shiny hot spots from your photos. And basically, this is pretty simple. What you want to do is borrow from other parts of the skin and recreate it to cover the um, shiny hot spots. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to start by making a new layer from scratch here. And that's going to give us a new blank layer. Now let's go ahead and grab the color picker tool. And instead of picking a color from the hot spot or the very darkest spot, let's find something in between the two. In our case, I'm going to try right around here. And that looks good. You can see the color over here in the color chooser. So now we're going to go ahead and grab a brush and let's make it a large, small brush. This 150 is a little bit too small. So I'm going to change that to a 350. And this is a soft brush and see, this looks a lot better. So all I'm going to do is just dab it in there and then dab it over here. Then I can take my smudge tool and let's give us a big, like 300 point smudge tool. And I'm going to smudge that a little bit over like that to cover the areas that I also want to include in the brightness. And then also up here, I'm going to smudge this over to include the whole forehead sort of like this so that it blends in really naturally like that. Then finally, I want to take the eraser and make this kind of a small eraser, probably like a hundred point for this particular photo. And I'm going to erase back out the smudges that are covering the eyeball. Then I'll make a, uh, even a smaller one at 50 point and smudge back out the eyebrow like so. And then all we have to do is go back to our grabber tool and that highlights the actual layer. We'll come over to the layer here and the opacity is at 100%. Let's go ahead and bring that down to zero. And as you can see, it went away. We're going to bring it back up slowly, little by little until we are satisfied and it looks realistic with just a little bit of shine. I'd say right around there at about 50%. That looks great. And if we want to slightly change the color of our addition, we'll go over to Enhance Lighting brightness and we can adjust the brightness and contrast so we can change the brightness as you can see it gets really dark right here it looks like a dark smudge or we can make it really bright and brings it back up to what the uh, picture was originally in our case let's try something kind of in the middle i'd say right around there looks good which was at minus 10 here and that's pretty much all there is to it i can toggle our effect on and off and that's how you get rid of hot spots this is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.